Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to start Battle Eye service. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Battle Eye service, make a double click on Battle Eye service and then set this, set the startup type to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now with this selected, make a right click and then click on restart. Now once this is done, now you can launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to go to the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game. So if you have the enhanced version, you can make a right click on enhanced. If you have legacy, you can select legacy. Make a right click, select manage. Now click on browse local files. Now over here you can see this folder, open this folder and reinstall it. So make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow and then click on continue. You can select the language which you want and then click on continue, continue, continue. And once this is done, now you can close this and then make a right click on this and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Again, select the language which you want. Continue, continue, accept, install. Now, once this is done, you can close this and then you can check. Now, the next step is to verify the game files. Now, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. During verification, if there is corrupt download or if there is any additional download which needs to be installed, you can it will install it. So, click on verify integrity of game files and then check if you have the legacy version. Make a right click, select properties, and then go to install and then click on verify integrity of game files and then you can check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game. So if you have enhanced, select enhance. If you have legacy, select legacy. And then make a right click, select manage, click on browse local files. And then you can run this, run the game as an administrator from here. So you can just make a right click and then select properties. Put a, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, go to properties once again. And this time, put a check over here. Select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Go to properties once again and this time, put a select Windows 7 over here. And then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click and launch the game. If that does not work, do the same thing with this exe file and do the same thing with this exe file and then check. Still not working in that case. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply and follow the next step. Now, if you have the legacy version, in that case, if you're running this game, do the same thing. You can click on browse local files and then you can make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to this tab, try all this. If that does not work, you can remove it, hit apply, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to restart Steam. Simply restart Steam. So go to Steam, exit Steam, and then you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam, and then click on run as administrator, and then launch the game, and then check. Next step is to Run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. And then click on add desktop app and then you can go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. If you have legacy, select open legacy. If you have enhanced, select enhanced and then select the game exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added, you can just find the game in the list. Once the game is added, enhanced or legacy, you can click on it and then select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. Do the same thing if you're using enhanced. You can select high performance and you will see your graphic card. Now launch the game and then check. 
Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, you can open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11 in Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then again open the game folder and then select the game exe file. Click on open, add all the exe file. Make sure that you go to the go and select all the exe file. So if you have the legacy, you can open the legacy folder and then add all the exe file. Do the same thing in control panel. So type in control panel and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app, click on browse and again go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select all the exe file one by one and then click on add. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then add this exe file, this exe file, add all the exe file. In my case, I have already added. Now you can launch the game. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, AMD card users go to AMD website. First of all, uninstall the current version, current graphic card driver, restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your, mod, select your graphic card and then install the latest one and then after install, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor and then check. Next step is to delete the settings file. Create a backup first. All saved settings will be lost when you delete the settings file. Now for this, you can open File Explorer in your computer. And then once you open File Explorer, go to Documents folder and then open Rockstar Games folder and GTA 5 if you're using Legacy, if GTA Enhanced if you're using GTA Enhanced. Open it and then over here you will see settings. You can just create a backup. You can copy this and maybe paste to the de desktop once you have a backup. Now you can make a right click and then you can delete it. Do the same thing if you are using enhanced, open it and over here you can see settings, copy it, paste it to the desktop, again copy it, paste it to the desktop and then you can delete these two folder and then restart and now you can restart the game. Now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files. Create a backup first because when you rename or delete the save game files, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So before you delete it, create a backup. So you can go to documents folder and then over here you can see Rockstar, open this folder and you can just create a backup. So if you had enhanced or legacy, you can just make a right click, copy, and then you can maybe paste it to the desktop. Uh, I already have a backup. Once you have a backup, now you can just uh, you can just rename it you can just rename it dot old or you can simply delete it and then launch the game you can do the same thing with this uh, folder if you're using enhanced so and then you can check but you will lose all the game progress 
but you already have a backup so you can always put it back now the next step is to close one drive so if you have one drive running sometimes it's hidden over here so if you have one drive running make a right click and then you can click exit one drive or if you have any other cloud storage apps running close it uncheck now for this you can just close steam first close it and then type in steam in windows search box and then make a right click on steam and then click on open file location and then make a right click on steam and then click on properties go to this tab and then if this is checked over here if this is checked uncheck this box and then hit apply click on ok and now you can launch steam and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to amd users you can install this amd optional update so in the google search you can just type in amd 25.2.1 go to amd website and then you can download this optional update from here and once the download is complete you can run this exe file from here restart your computer and then launch the game if that does not work you can even try this amd 25.1.1 optional update so you can search in the google go to amd website and then you can download this and then you can run this exe file and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to Try debug mode in NVIDIA control panel. Go to AM, uh, desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option, and then go to NVIDIA control panel. Once NVIDIA control panel is open, at the top left, you will see help option. Click on help over here, and then you will see debug mode. So if this is unchecked like this, you can put a check on debug mode. Once you have a check on debug mode, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see these files now here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both x86 and x64 so click on x86 and then click on x64 and then you can run both the files so run x64 and if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install now you can ins oh, even install this x86 click on repair or install whatever you see and then once installed you can just once install restart your computer restart is a must after this so once install once you see setup successful you can close this close this and then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update now once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to close all the overclocking application running so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner running like sometimes msi afterburner is hidden so make sure that you close it if you have revert tuner running so it's hidden over here so you can click on this up arrow and then make a right click on over here msi afterburner you can close it if you have revert tuner running make a right click close it and then you can launch the game or you can if you have any other overclock clocking application running close it disable steam overlay now also if you have undervolted you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties Turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check if you have in if you have discord running you can turn off overlay in discord settings if you have nvidia app or nvidia ge force experience running you can go to settings and turn off this nvidia overlay and then launch the game also if you have any other overlay application you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game if you have any third party services or software running like razor software running close it also unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra usb dongle connected to the computer disconnect it disable or just close all the third party services next step is to increase the virtual memory 
So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to Advanced tab and then click on Change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two four five seven six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is sixteen gigabyte. I have sixteen gigabyte of RAM. So sixteen into one zero two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is. 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the system BIOS and then after the BIOS update, launch the game. Next step is to, you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. But if you are able to launch the game, disable ray tracing. So you can launch the game, go to options and then go to graphics option and disable ray tracing. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Disable ray tracing, try window mode, lower down resolution. So if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p, or you can even lower down more and then check. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can simply make a right click, uninst manage, uninstall, and then delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.